Imagine waking up to an electric vehicle that doesn't just conserve energy, but actually gains it while you drive. A vehicle so efficient that even in the middle of winter, with shorter days and weaker sunlight, it can return home with more battery than it left with. Well, those numbers aren't theoretical anymore. They're happening right now, and they're happening with Aptera. I'm nowhere near Las Vegas at the moment, but distance doesn't matter, because what's unfolding at CES is big enough to send a shockwave across the entire EV industry. Aptera has officially arrived with real-world progress, real testing, real data, and for the first time ever, a glimpse at what their production intent vehicle can truly do. And let me tell you, the early signs don't just look promising, they look disruptive. Aptera rolled into CES with two new Pi builds, and both reveal just how close this company is to crossing from ambitious engineering into full-scale reality. One is a fully drivable model featuring the Vitesco motor, full-size battery pack, production-grade components, and everything needed for authentic road use. The other showcases a nearly feature-complete interior, giving people their first taste of how an Aptera is actually supposed to feel from the inside. Together, they're the clearest message yet. This isn't a concept anymore, it's becoming a real car. The build quality has taken a huge leap. The aerodynamic curves look smoother, the seams are tighter, the lines are crisp. Nothing about the exterior feels like a prototype thrown together for show. These units look refined, like something nearing the finish line. But the moment that stunned everyone was the debut of the full solar hatch. Not only does the hatch finally appear in its complete form, the panels are fully working. A small screen inside the drivable unit displays real-time watt input. And even in winter sunlight, which is weaker, shorter, and far from ideal, Aptera is pulling in measurable power. That alone would have been headline-worthy. But then came the road tests. For the first time ever, Aptera has vehicles equipped with enough production intent components to conduct authentic, real-world road testing. And the results are already turning heads. During CES, Aptera's team drove around 25 miles over the course of the day. This wasn't highway hypermiling. These were mixed test drives, often involving harder accelerations for demos. And despite all that, the battery went up by 1%. Think about that. Most EVs lose several percent just sitting in a parking lot overnight. Aptera gained energy while being driven. Yes, it's early. Yes, it's not official range testing. And yes, they're still in winter conditions in Las Vegas, not peak summer California sun. But even with those limitations, the math points in one direction. If this vehicle can gain net energy while being driven in January, the possibilities for daily driving in normal sunlight become jaw-dropping. For many people who commute under 25 miles per day, this suddenly becomes a car that might require zero charging for days, or weeks, or months. This is the kind of light bulb moment the EV community has been waiting for. A proof of concept that efficient design can change the entire ownership experience. Quietly, almost too quietly, Aptera pushed a major website redesign that now highlights something they haven't emphasized enough. Safety and structural durability. The new layout focuses on airbag systems, rollover protection, composite body strength, and crash-worthy structural components. Aptera has often been seen as the ultra-efficient science project of EVs, but now the brand is clearly positioning this as a structurally robust, safety-first machine. Alongside the redesign comes a simplification of the solar package options. Previously, buyers could mix and match solar panels for the roof, dash, and hood. That meant Aptera had to manufacture extra body parts for customers who didn't want full solar. Not anymore. 
Now those three areas, roof, dash, hood, come standard with solar. The only remaining choice is whether you want a solar hatch or a glass hatch. This simplifies production and leans into what Aptera buyers want anyway, maximum solar capability. Most early reservations already chose full solar, so this streamlining just makes sense. Here's the elephant in the room. The old 2019 pricing structure is gone. The new target price for the launch edition is listed at $40,000. It's not final, but it's the most realistic number yet. Some will say it's too high. Others will point out that production costs in 2025 are nothing like they were in 2019. And truthfully, no startup can survive by underpricing its first vehicle. This is where the company is being transparent. Once the bill of materials is finalized, they'll publish what they need to stay profitable. Not to overcharge, not to gouge, but to remain in business long enough to scale. Many reservation holders might walk away. Price increases always do that. But the larger story here is that a vehicle with 400 miles of range, solar-assisted charging, ultra-low energy consumption, a composite body, a unique design, a rear-view display, CarPlay and Android Auto, is launching at a price still below many mainstream EVs. Meanwhile, other first-generation cars from major tech companies are launching at nearly double the price, with half the range and none of the solar benefit. When Steve Fambro mentioned the car was pulling about 100 watts even in the shade, that was another jaw-drop moment. Shade charging is usually negligible. In Aptera, it's measurable. The consequences of this are enormous. You can charge the vehicle overnight on a standard 110 outlet and still get over 100 miles of range added. You can park outside, no garage required. You can skip installing expensive home charging equipment. You can reduce or eliminate reliance on public fast chargers. You can rack up hundreds of passive miles per month from sunlight alone. No other EV offers this experience, none. And this type of freedom, freedom from cords, from infrastructure, from planning your charges, might be the single biggest selling point of all. Let's be honest, an Aptera isn't built for blending in. If you want anonymity, a conventional sedan is the way to go. But if you're comfortable with attention, questions, curiosity, and admiration, Aptera is going to make you feel like a rolling celebrity. Everywhere it goes, people look. Everywhere it stops, people ask questions. For those early adopters, especially launch edition buyers, the resale market may become extremely favorable. Accelerators also get discounts that may place their purchase price below MSRP, opening the possibility of recovering most, or even more, of the cost if they choose to sell early. It's not guaranteed. Nothing in markets ever is. But the demand for something this unique will likely outweigh supply for quite some time. One of the most powerful announcements is the inclusion of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, two features many major EV makers have abandoned. Add to that a dedicated rear view display, multiple camera inputs, a modern UI, redesigned durable interior materials, full-size production seats, HVAC, and integrated software. And now, the Pi builds aren't just proving the efficiency story, they're proving the usability story. The new interior feels airy and functional. The open pass-through layout creates a surprisingly spacious cabin, and the copper-accented cup holders with durable cork inserts give the interior a unique, premium character. These details reinforce that Aptera isn't just building a science experiment, it's building a lifestyle EV. What makes this moment feel significant is that Aptera has transitioned from showing renders to showing working hardware on roads. These are production intent motors, battery packs, body panels, solar cells, interiors, displays, 
HVAC systems, and cameras. Nothing about these Pi builds feels imaginary anymore. They represent the closest glimpse yet of what customers will actually receive. Each test mile, each watt logged, each refinement. It all points to a company shifting into real-world validation mode. For the first time since Aptera re-emerged, this feels like the moment where everything becomes real. Real testing, real data, real features, real refinement, real pricing, real decisions, real momentum. Seeing a vehicle gain battery percentage while being driven, watching solar cells work in winter shade, witnessing production-ready interiors, seeing safety systems and software come online, and knowing the launch edition is nearing the point of scaling, it all signals that Aptera is stepping into a new phase. Not concept, not prototype, but early production reality. And that reality could reshape what people expect from electric vehicles, because EVs aren't supposed to drain energy while driving. Sometimes, the right design makes them generate it.